infidelity in a marriage is you can't hide some stuff for so long eventually they will just come out on their own ciao guys and welcome back to lampis just before we get start into you know into the whole video you've already seen it from the title i really wanted to not know from you have anybody noticed a difference from us as a couple and the way we have been handling youtube lately you know we always want to come here and spread positivity and sometimes also perceived i don't know sometimes somehow perceived as the perfect couple especially when you're on social media but in reality our life is also hmm drama is there too it's just not something that we come out here and talk However, since we're a couple today, we want to also share with something because as much you can only, you can't hide some stuff for so long. Eventually, they will just come out on their own. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's also okay to come here and accept that you're not perfect and eh, there's some problem here on the infidelity in a marriage is you just scared. I think as soon as you sign that certificate, your next fear after honeymoon is um what if what if we have no? been like uh, yeah, three, for three years three, three months weeks. even uh, though after yeah. we got mm -hmm. married three months apart from each other and i was in italy you were here in germany and you yeah, okay, you didn't yeah. have no. the the doubt out of me cheating if if maybe i there wasn't is investigating like, enough yeah, yeah you were not investigating of course but i was not even cheating so <laughs> there was nothing to be investigated on but the, the thing is, once the trust is broken, then it's always going to be there on the back of your mind, uh, these thoughts of your partner maybe is cheating, is cheating, is cheating. <laughs> then jealousy kick in and all relationship, all the relationship is just going to go to you hell. You know the way I know myself? Mm -hmm. I mean, if I get angry, you know... And you are not a forgiveness person. Like, you cannot forgive even yourself. Like, when you do a mistake, you don't forgive yourself. For months, you go over and you dream on it. If it's me, it's going to be killing me for the rest of my life if we stay together. So I would say... <laughs> yeah, I was, I was... Yeah, because I think... I, I can... I'm a nice person when I'm, like, on the happy side. But if... If you get me to the other side, mm -hmm. aggressiveness, I can be very, very, very aggressive. I'm not so, like physically aggressive, but eh, you don't want that lampy to come out. I No, I think I won't get over it. I mean, we'll never know. Maybe you, but uh, I don't know. I, don't know. I, I think it's going to be very difficult. Like you have said, the trust is now broken. And every time you are three months away in Italy, I'll probably be like, I, I just think it's toxic. Yeah, no, it's to it's toxic. The relation... Number one, I'm probably going to be thinking of cheating to make it fair because you also, I don't know if you've stopped Make it really fair. <laughs> this, is, this is even worse. There is another yeah, thing that I people like, oh, I, I, you know, he cheated, so let's make it even. <laughs> then you cheat yeah, as well. I, I just want to know if anybody who have had a bad experience or cheating experience here, what do you think is the best way to deal with this? Is it like just break up right away? Option two is forgive and maybe the first time, forgive the first time. Mm -hmm. Option three is make it even, forgive and make it even. This is the, the like the most childish option, uh, I think. I, yeah, I think course. it works for it's some like, people. It's like, yeah, you do, you did that and then I'm going to do that just yeah, for you, the you, sake yeah. of make you, give you pain. That is like really toxic. I think, I don't know, I had the experience uh, already, I've been cheated on. In, a, in one of my previous yeah. relationship and uh, I forgave the person. I forgave the person because uh, I was really in love with this person. And because you're nice. And because I'm nice. And then it happened again. Yeah. It happened again. And then I know, I know, I know. <laughs> you knew right then, then, right that, then oh, you never. made a mistake. <laughs> I, I never, if, t if it happens that you cheat and just going to to break the relationship and move on because for Even if me you're moving on mean you're going to be with yourself by yourself yes. forever it's better that way so it's, it's better, better because all the consequences the jealousy that i have experienced after the 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 the, 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 the fact that, that i forgive this scandal. person yes mm -hmm. i forgive the person but she she was not forgiving herself for cheating on me 
that's another thing that is uh, weird. Yeah, I know. <laughs> which Just is follow, weird, yeah. Which is weird. And me, I didn't have the same trust. I was really insecure in the relations in the point. Ah, uh, because I think you also start feeling like, oh my goodness, maybe I'm not worth. Yes, I was insecure of myself. Mm. So it, it is, was so bad. It was so bad. The relationship was getting really toxic, and I was pissed. I was insecure about myself, I was pissed at her even though I, I, I tried to forgive her because I feel like okay she cheated so and it was bad so the only option at that point was just to close the relationship. No, they, they, there is no, there no, is no, no aggressive, no physical. I don't know. No but insulting. They, for me, I you know. You didn't insult her. You didn't no, attack I, her. No, I'm not, I'm not this kind of person. I'm not this That's kind of nice. person. Because I don't, I, I'm not a cheater. I, I don't know if you believe it or not. I never cheat on anybody. Mm. Not even mm. when I was like 16. Mm. But... Uh, um, uh, the cheater don't tell, just you guys know. <laughs> Nobody I, I come out there saying, I'm a cheat. No, for me it's like at the end of the day you wake up every single morning and you have to look at yourself in the mirror. So if I'm confident of being in front of the camera with all of you uh, looking at me, I can say I am not a cheater and really never cheated on and on everybody on anybody in my life and that is I think it just it just also what kind of person you are what kind of confidence you have in yourself uh, how much self awareness of your person because I think cheating is not really about um, it's about not about the person they are, are playing. It's just about I think but it's, it's, the personality. It's, it's yourself. It's your personality. It's your personality. It's, it's like if you're always secretly looking for something better. Mm -mm. So be careful. Yeah. But if you discover, l let me just say you you had a little whisper. Maybe oh, your partner is cheating. Mm -hmm. How do you, if if your friend comes to you and say. I think Lemp is cheating. How? What do you do? What with? kind of friends? I don't know any friend. I know any friend. Like if it's a, it's a friend, like uh, somebody that I know, come to me and say, say that. I like just not even going to probably not even investigate. Depends. I repeat. If he's my best friend, yes, of of course, I would drill like uh, an alarm in my head and start investigating. But start if he's stalking me, put a because you know, on my there are also a lot of people that are envy about uh, relationships. Relationship. Like there are people that are really twisted out there sometimes. So it can also happen that somebody just want to hurt you and you know give you this information that is not even true. So I w if it's just somebody that I know, like a a friend, but. Like not so close no, to you. No, so close to me. I will not give you. Like, I know. Will not give you any hell, relevance. Go yes, to hell. I go Don't to come hell. here and disturb my marriage. If it's like my best friends telling me, like Daniela telling me, okay, you know, I have seen uh, Lampy cheating. Then they I, I would investigate. Yeah, I would investigate. But I would not. I would not just come to you and say, oh, you are a cheater because my friend <laughs> told me <laughs> ah, okay. so. I will always yeah. just think. So now I will need to pro to have my they prove it to see really that you are cheating and then I I, I will come for it. So you fa you have first confidence in your own marriage, like you don't just wait. anybody doesn't come to you. You say this no. and you run to that. Your that that would be to, stupid, to and now it will also yeah. be like uh, you are not confident of the people. What you, you have with a yeah, person, uh, you, with you a know person. the person for six years and Jesus. you sleep with a person every single day and you live together and somebody come from their house and give me this short message and you run to your partner Seven. everything is insane before we have been together for a while and i think i'm strong and i come here every single time always saying anything happen i'm ready i'm going mm -hmm. but the truth the truth is at my age i don't even think it has anything to do with the age but we have really a beautiful relationship i just think if it happens after we've been together for, I don't know, going to 10 years, I will probably forgive you the first time. Now, don't take that and go use it. I have a, <laughs> I have a bonus card now. <laughs> I'm going to put it in my pocket here. Yeah, then you know, remember, you just say you're forgiving me. So <laughs> well, that is recorded on video. Huh? No, I, I just honestly, recently I've also been thinking, you know, if it happens, I, I always think if it happens, probably... I might forgive you mm -hmm. and see how you are acting. The only challenge here with cheating is, in my opinion, when you catch somebody cheating, they've been doing it already for, for a long time before you catch them. Mm 
Then the other thing, I don't believe in things like cheating one night stand. Even when your partner comes to you or you heard somewhere, you have some information saying it was a one night stand, probably somebody, the person has been already texting with or emailing with for a while before you met. Because I think it's going to be scary for I me mean, to meet a guy on the street and like the next day I end up in there. Also, what kind of person are you? You know, baby, I got drunk and there was this <laughs> woman at the bar that... Really yes, was. oh my well. God. You know, people would... I have also, I mean, my ex partner was cheating on me. Mm -hmm back forth and you know right and left center everywhere all the time mm -hmm. now the thing is there is somebody who would come to you and say you know i was trying to be nice and mm. i was trying to be faithful and this person just throw themselves on my soul i don't know how can we be so naive it's a big guy like how, how do you get raped by a, a, a woman, a, a woman. Who, who is pretty much half your size it's, it's <laughs> bullshit but you know you love the person and the person come to you you know your partner comes to you saying this crazy but thing sometimes you're just like okay i'm so okay i'm going to forgive you mm. honey and hopefully next time and you say that you would forgive me because we already been uh, 10 years together yes. and uh, it's difficult to find a person out there. Do like, you think is, is, uh, it is like that because uh, you are, we are now married? No, it has nothing to do with marriage. I think it's more like a relationship thing. I know how difficult I, it took us like 8 years to get to marriage. Mm -hmm. So if I'm thinking, oh my goodness, now I have to go back in the dating game that I don't even know so much about, <laughs> about anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm good. Yeah, you. I mean, as long as the, I think you know, your logical self says go, go, go. Your heart is also like you. Next day, you have to wake up and go online dating, or go to the club, go to church, whatever, and find people. In <laughs> Yeah, so I, I would just the fear of starting over. I think I might for the first time I might really choose to, mm -hmm. but I don't recommend people doing it. It's I also know from my experience once you forgive a cheater, a cheater is always because the other a person cheater also, is always yeah, a cheater, but they also take it like you know, mm -mm. I can do it, I can, I'm still going to be forgiven if mm -mm. I, yeah, so. Mm, it's not, but I can understand why people forgive. I have also forgiven people, I don't know, 100 times before. If you cheat, for me, the relationship is gone. No matter, I don't know how much love there is, uh, it is going to be so difficult. I don't know, for me it would be also like, uh, sleep. then how do we yeah. have sex, go back in the, in the same bed and okay. have sex with this oh, person? Disgusting, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Disinfect. Dis person. Yeah, disinfect. <laughs> disinfect. <laughs> disinfect first with. No, I don't know. Yeah, this, yeah. Huh? Yeah, that part too. I think it's difficult. To come back and build trust it's, you it's know, impossible okay. i think i think <sighs> the difficult. only chance in and uh, now uh, for which i i would be able to forgive you in the case you are cheating if you have uh like child. child i would i would find i think the strength to forgive you be, but not to forgive you like in a sense of um not for you, but more yeah, but more what? for the children. Yeah, like, but what? Yeah, to, they're still going to do it again. So yeah, you need to keep uh, them that long. Just no, I would be another kind of agreement. I would be like more like on the on the side, like okay, you know, we have uh, that is like that. Like we still together as a couple raising the children. Then if you want to have your affair outside, it's fine. I I'm I can also be able to to do the same as well, but. We keep it together for the sake of uh, raising the children uh, properly, and uh, and then when they are grown, uh, we you, can, move we, you, move, you move away. Okay, faith, wait, lumpy until you get children. Try it and is and it and then <laughs> like, it, like you get bonus, you get a puzzle as well if you have kids. <laughs> Uh, what, uh, let's analyze a little bit what is cheating because cheating mo most of the cases is sex, no. Most of, okay, what else could it be? It could be also that you fall in love with another person because you yeah, are not but satisfied what from oh, your partner. Yeah, but maybe still is the same thing. What does falling in love with another person lead to sex? <laughs> so how would you know they're in love with them? So it's the same thing all the time. Uh, okay, it's, so you, don't you, need to you, analyze you think it. if you have sex, you are in love with the other person? No, but if I'm talking about cheating, I'm talking about they had sex with somebody. Yes, of, of course. course. So it's cheating. I don't need to analyze anything. Ah, it's cheating, it's, it's cheating. It's cheating. If there is, uh, it's if the they same have feelings if involved or there are no feelings, they have sex with another person. Mm -hmm. So 
Oh, As a yeah. married couple, you sometimes also want to kind of avoid discussing this. But no, it's I think it's best to it's, discuss about no, no. It also, just, you put it clear, like you know. Yeah, if you you, you, you made like it clear, you, like no. if if it happens, if it happens, that's it, you know. Or if it happens, I will forgive you. Then yeah, <laughs> then let's yeah. Go. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's not like that. <laughs> no, sweetie, it is not like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, you start over. There are a lot of challenges. You want to continue a relationship after cheating. There is a lot of challenges too. But at the end of the day, I think I will always choose the the fish option. Start over because uh, you never know what is the future is uh, is holding for you. And if you are a part of a per positive person, you might find another partner soon. And you are definitely going. You are definitely. Another. But even if you are by yourself, there are people that you can also have a, a, a pretty much an amazing life by yourself you have Absolutely. friends you have you can travel you your can family. you you can still have you still have your families you so you can get involved with, for example if you have a sister with the with your sister children and you still can have a full life and if you're positive you can really enjoy it you know just stay positive and even if you are 40 50 it's a chance to start going back to the disco and discover new i don't know when you, what kind of people you're going to My find God, even more like uh, for example but last time i went to the club i found older people so i think definitely it's but enough you, know, you can uh, go and then start the, over um, again so try to articulate is always fear of oh my god i'm not going to find mm -hmm. another person like you like you're very sweet and i think i might but want you can... to call you and say no could you please cook pasta for me <laughs> or, <laughs> or would want to go anyway guys if you enjoy this video give us a like if you are new please subscribe to our Ding channel Ding. and leave the comment anyways it's quarantine time you probably still have some time to watch another video so watch my next video up here where does the video come does it come here up here down there no i think it comes somewhere here or no maybe they come no here 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 usually is in, the, in this corner no, over here. here the one here one here